All right, five things I learned in five years since I've started my lawn care business. Guys, take notes on this. None of this won't be overnight, and this is not a microwave success. So one of the first things I found out within the five years of doing my lawn care business is that it's a very huge community out here of people in the same industry as you. You need to listen and learn to as many people as you can, take notes, write it down and start applying as you move forward and growing each, each year and every day and every month and every week in your business. It's a huge community of guys out here. Guys who've been out here five years like me, 10 years, 15, 20, 25 years, if that's how far you see yourself in business. So one of the first things I'm gonna say in five years is that I learned is that it's a whole community of people out here who have already been there and done that or they're in the process of trying to grow their business like me. Number two, pick one thing a week and start getting better at it. One thing a week. So that means if you never cut grass in your life, let's just say the first thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna get out there, you wanna start learning mowing heights. So the first week you're gonna learn how to keep the deck high enough not to burn the grass, not to scalp the grass. Next week you get to learning your trimming skills. Next week, you'll get to doing like this. You'll get to learn how to hedge bushes and stuff. And as each week goes by, you just start stacking these skills on top of each one, week by week by week. And this is how you're gonna start building your skill set that's gonna get you paid here in the future. So number two, what I'll say is every week, find something new, start learning, start building, and start stacking on top of that previous experience. Number three, which basically goes back into number one, kind of. Watch and listen to everything that you are trying to be and nothing else. Nothing else is going to matter right now. You need to be focusing, zeroing in, tunnel vision on where you see this business at. Where you see yourself trying to grow. You need to be writing down your plan. You need to be writing down what it's going to take to get this plan accomplished. Watch and listen to everything. Chew the meat, spit out the bones. What doesn't apply to you, don't use it. But what applies to you, take it instantly and start applying it into your business. Now, what I've learned is in these five years, most of the information that I get from the guys I follow on social media, YouTube, I can take that information literally today, go out tomorrow, start applying it and start changing the course of my business instantly so you need to watch you need to listen and you need to pay attention to everybody in your industry take notes and this is going to save you a ton of time if you're trying to expedite this business success quickly number four every time a situation that comes up it seems like a loss it's really not a loss at all. All it is is a lesson to thicken your skin. That's what this is. All right, so I don't put no tarp up under when I do bushes. You see I spray it there that's dead. I don't put no tarp while I do bushes. I just blow it out here. Cause the yard's gotta get ready to be mowed anyway. So blow these out, get it out in the yard, get ready to mow. All right, now last, number five, don't beat yourself up along the way on this journey. Do not do it. Instead of beating yourself up, you have to start appreciating the small little pieces of growth that are going to build on to your skill set each year after each year. Those small little bitty things that you think are losses are not losses at all. Appreciate those things and use those. You got trees all up here. Just gonna be dropping leaves. You can see some of them already dropped over there. So when leaves are dropping, it's gonna be more money out here to get. You just gotta offer this to your clients. So get the rest of this knocked out. It's a small backyard. All right, then with those small winds, those small wins are basically building up your confidence. Each time you get a little win, each time you do something that you think you couldn't do, each time that you make it happen again, 
All these is, is confidence stones. They're helping building you up to the higher place that you're trying to reach. You have to take these little things like this and just appreciate them. Mark them down as I knocked it off. I did it again. I'm telling you guys, this is the things and these are the things that are going to help you as you journey along in your business. So part of it too, when you're solo trying to grow, you're going to see crews like that. If you look down there, see that truck, uh, I think it's a crew of three. So you got her solo. Don't be focused on that, man. Focus on what you got going on until you build it up. Let's get out here and smash out another yard. All right, so it's going to be my last one for the day. Work, got to get that trash can out the way. Got to move these bricks and get into that gate. No yard's going to be perfect. So, guys, these are some of the five things I've learned in five years since I started into this lawn care business, lawn care industry. What are some of the tips you guys learned and what are some of the things you got? Just let me know. Leave some comments. Drop some comments. Drop some suggestions. Things you think I could change. Things you think a new guy could change. Because none of us has this figured out. And it's, as, as, as I talk to guys who are in the game 15, 20 years, I see that these guys are learning still the same way I'm still learning. So guys, leave your comments. Leave your suggestions. Leave what you've done in five years. Or leave what you've done in 10 years or 20 years that a new guy can help or a guy that's already out here could use to basically level up their skill set and help them become more successful in this lawn and landscape industry thanks for tuning in man check out the rest of the video like subscribe and follow if you like the content that i'm dropping also tuesday two tuesday nights 8 p.m mo trapping podcast here on youtube so tune in check it out and i'll check you guys out in the next video all right and this is part of it it's my 50 dollar yard you got trampolines you got guards you got to get around two empty little spots back there gardens you got to get around corners so blow all this off I'm going to get out of here on this one. Guys, yeah, part of it. If you ain't ready to uh, get out here and be doing the details of every yard, every yard's not going to be cookie cutter, get in and out. So I have some work to do on some of them. So 55 a week, we get to the next one. Start smoking.